Now it's time to explore the new earth. These are stories to motivate us and inspire us as we move forward with the restoration plan. Wouldn't it be amazing to tap into the miraculous power of group intention? When individuals in a group focus their intention together on a single target, incredible things happen. Medical conditions are healed, fractured relationships are mended, and lives are restored. I recently sat down with Zen Kakaro of LightNet, an incredible place that explores cutting edge science to clarify the most important knowledge of all time, including the miracles associated with the power of eight. Today, we're talking about the power of eight. So we kind of need to define this, Zenka. What is the power of eight? Well, the power of eight was made famous by a scientist called Lynn McTaggart, and she has been doing revolutionary work in the field of mind-matter interaction. So what does that mean? It means that we don't yet understand what consciousness really is. And some people believe that somehow consciousness affects our physical reality. In other words, physical reality is somehow a result of consciousness. Now, the effects may be subtle or maybe total, <laughs> but one of the things we're working on in the scientific community is testing these theories and how does this work exactly? So one of the things that she did very methodically as a scientist does is did different uh, experiments where they would take eight people together. And she believes that's a very good minimum number. Now, the Bible says 12. You can do it just with one person. But eight people together with a very coherent intention can produce very miraculous results. And maybe you've heard about these healing circles. So these are where eight people get together. They focus on one person. They get into their hearts. They probably get into alpha brain waves. Um, we don't really know, but something happens where people experience miracle medical healings. And she's also done, and you know, the churches do this too, actually, you know, where that actually works. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and the way that we know it works is that, you know, and she tested other things. She would test like them thinking about leaves or something like that. And it, you know, it wasn't just people in healing. She, she, she experimented this through this for many years. And, you know, this kind of research was not funded very well. Um, it was, it was, it was considered totally, you know, out there and now it's very well understood. And even major universities, we're talking Ivy League universities have now studied this effect and everyone's scratching their head going, how is this even possible? <laughs> One of the things that it uses the same concept of the power of eight is the Maharishi effect, or it's called the super radiance effect in physics, where suddenly something goes flip and it's like flipped into another state. Wow. Now the Maharishi effect was, was, you know, Maharishi said, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the math and this is how it works. Mm -hmm. And he said, if 1% of the population were to be coherent in peace and love and, and trying to make the world a more um, uh, harmonious state, yeah. that that would actually have effect on the entire population. And so they started to test it. Uh -huh. And then they realized that if you get city meditators, so these are meditators from India that are very well practiced, um, that it only takes the square root of 1%. Right. Wow. So they got all of the city meditators. I think it was um, it was seven hundred or seven thousand together, um, and a millionaire paid for them to meditate over the course of many months. Okay, <laughs> and they were in this huge room. It was a massive, like a you know, like a football field type of room that was circular, and they all meditated together. And then they looked at all the data. Yeah. They looked at crime statistics. They looked at accident reports murders. Of course, you would think, well, murders would go down just like um, on the battlefield. There's less deaths on a battlefield. So Lynn McTaggart did this around the world. So what they realized was that not only did crime go down, mm -hmm. it went down for a long time afterwards. How long? 
I don't recall exactly how long, but it, it has a long effect. It's not just wow. like, oh, we meditated this month. I think it was a year, 12 to 24 months. So in other words, you guys, the message to us is twofold. Yeah. Number one is that what you think, feel, and, and how your emotions are is important because it affects the world around you that you experience. And number two, when you take care of yourself, when you do self-care, when you make sure you're okay, when you're taking a break when you need to, when you give yourself a hug when you need to, when you take care of your body, you're actually helping strangers that you don't even know. Wow. Now that you have the knowledge of the power of eight, how will you use it? LightNet offers memberships where you can connect with people all over the world using the power of eight to explore your unlimited potential. They offer coaching, workshops, and parties where you can practice incredible mind over matter concepts such as spoon bending and other quantum concepts in a group environment. For more information, visit their website at lightnet.org.